Welcome back to our Boba Break Part 2, where we discuss our 3x3 three three grid. The next person. Not done yet. Yeah. We're moving on to Riley's grid now. And he's. He sounds under the weather today. He's yeah, a little within, sick. Within the time of the last recording, I have uh, come down with an illness, so. No, it was only two days ago. <laughs> yeah. It was two days ago. You fell really quickly, my guy. Time flies. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, she's gonna die while recording this. Uh, let's see. First, it was, uh, we'll, we'll get all the ones we've talked about out of the way already. We got yeah. Baldur's Gate, Lethal Company, and Party Animals. All classics. We talked yep. about them. Both, uh, all three games I have enjoyed quite a bit. Mm-hmm. What would you say is your favorite out of the three so far? Um. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's, oh, they're all so different. In, they're all so you know? different. Yeah. Uh, I've had the most fun, I think, with Lethal Company. I've got the mm-hmm. most laughs out of that one. And then, yeah. Baller's Gate is just a really solid game in general. I haven't gotten too far from it in it, so I can't say 100% on what I think about it yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I do enjoy it. That's good. Can you explain that second picture? <laughs> I, I'm so excited for you to explain this. Because <laughs> so, me know. and Eden know what this is. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh is this from know? Scooby-Doo? <laughs> yes, it is. It is Scooby-Doo. <laughs> in a ball. Uh, why is he in ball form, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, for some unknown reason, Scooby-Doo in this puppet movie... I think it was like the only one that was made. You could only transform one. into objects, because why not? He's got like the courage and cowardly dog powers. And that ball, he turned into a bowling ball to uh, break some rocks down. <laughs> Bro. It was one of the shape, greatest things. It was shaped like pins. It was. <laughs> they were shaped like pins. <laughs> that now, was what. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, go ahead. Alright, so you might, you might be wondering, how does this relate? Well, uh, over the course of the last several months, um, we've started a Scooby-Doo watch party marathon where we watch all movies in chronological order, every single one. Yeah. We have, we have, we're almost done. Almost. We're almost, almost done. We're so close. I think... That's true. We, j- we we stopped on the second Lego movie. And I... Um, hello? But, um, you you, hello? you, that again, you, you cut off. off. Bruh. <laughs> um, we... I think the... Like, we've gone quite a bit far into our marathon. I think the next one that we need to still watch is the Batman um crossover so yep what man and um batman oh batman i said that man raven the bull we have we've watched a lot of classics but i i still think the puppet movie might be right here it was ironically it was goaded it was goaded like it was one of the most unhinged and funniest like movie experiences i've ever like watched like i was dying laughing with um the boys so it was an experience that's for sure it was an experience absolutely was yeah. that your favorite part of the whole like marathon that we've done so far like was this movie and just uh, the bowling ball bowling it was ball scene definitely the most rememberable 
not even like the genuinely like good Scooby Doo. It was like Zombie Island or Goblin King. Nothing like that. It's the part <laughs> where the puppet. <laughs> All right. Now, no, third one. one. Third, third one. one. <clears throat> I think you know what's coming. It's your very, it's your very special, very special one. Yeah. I'm about to put Hannah on blast a little bit here. It's the one you were waiting for. You, yes. you could put me on blast. It's okay. I, I could take it. <laughs> okay. So JoJo Stone Ocean, Part Six. I've been, waiting, I've been waiting to watch this anime for a long time. Yes. yes you could you say have. almost two years. Has it been that <laughs> long? Since, since the anime was. Unironically. Yeah, it's been that long. Yeah, since I it was revealed it has unironically. Been that long, yeah. Yeah, two Hannah, years. why did you make him wait that long? Now, nah, hold on. So, you might be wondering, why did I wait two years to watch this? Well, well, well. I made a a promise here. All right. Bro. I said I would watch uh, Stone Ocean with Hannah after you know the the whole thing comes out, and uh, we did not watch it for a, two years because. Yeah. Hannah did not finish part five. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I have defense for this. Okay. I have a defense. In the span of two years, a lot of stuff has happened in my personal life that is just like, I'm, I'm literally, I can't, like, I can't just sit down. Like, I, I got too much stuff going on. But second thing is that Part five, for me, genuinely, I think just burnt me out, Joe, for a long ass time. I, for some reason, even though I love mafia stories, I love gang, I love like heists and everything, and that's that's what part five is. And oh, you know, man. I love like character driven stuff, and part five is the one with like oh the most like memorable characters out of all of jojo i had to force myself to finish part five it, it was for some reason i was not working for me when i did finish it i was so i was so unbelievably burnt out on jojo and it was something that i had to get over because I made a promise for Riley, and we did it. We finally watched JoJo. We finally watched JoJo Part Six. No, and it was I, it was only two episodes. I, I apologized. No. I, <laughs> it I only apologized. you waited two years for just two episodes. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, well, we haven't found the time to like go back and like finish them, but. <laughs> We are going to watch more, don't worry. So, you know, he's gonna wait for another two years. When? That was last when? year, too. Whenever Riley's available. He's gonna wait for another two years. He's gonna make you I'm wait down two to watch years. JoJo whenever he is. So, Riley's he's, he's always. Yeah, yeah, you can watch man. it tomorrow. Stay home all day, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, but Hannah's working tomorrow. You've had class all day. What do you mean? But you were done two hours ago. Uh -huh. Yeah. But the fridge that I had... Listen, I'm going to have like a whole Markiplier-like fridge story, okay? So, listen. It's ever since like this, my refrigerator died the day before Christmas, we have been fighting with what? Samsung to i haven't been telling you guys this this is something i've kept under wraps because it is so unbelievably frustrating that every time about it i enraged with it my refrigerator died the day the day before christmas so we have been going off of my grandmother's fridge and coolers we've been eating wake out and like no refrigerable foods we've been eating off of bread like takeout, eggs, just 
for the last month, like month and a half. And we've been fighting with Samsung, with the Samsung company, because for some reason they don't believe, they didn't believe that our fridge died before the warranty expired. Because our warranty in our fridge was like for five years. The fridge died at four years. It died before the warranty expired. So we could get a new fridge for free. But the, but the Samsung company, they didn't believe us. They didn't believe that our warranty like wasn't expired. We had to show them receipts. It was just like, we want our fridge now. Okay, we'll give you your fridge. Like two weeks, no fridge. And we had to give them another call. Where the fuck is our fridge? Just like, like oh, there, there's been some delays. It's going to take another two weeks. It's like, what do you mean? We're living off of polars. How could you do this to us? And the fridge finally came today i was wondering like why my step why my stepdad was texting me in class just like hey, hey bro what are you doing right now it's just like i'm in class i'm painting it's just like okay cool when you come home be sure to park down below like anyway it's like oh okay long story short the fridge guys came today and we had to you know help them set up the fridge and everything and Bro. it's nice to have a fridge again it's nice to have a fridge again this is the last <laughs> night where I'm going to be eating toast cheese on it. I'm very excited. I eat toast so, with cheese. How does this relate to JoJo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how does it relate to JoJo? Yeah. Hannah. <laughs> yeah. Explain. That for this month, I have not been available to watch JoJo because of the whole fridge debacle, because of the whole thing with that I'm not getting into. Um, okay. But now that I that there's a weight off of the shoulders, JoJo, we can watch JoJo. JoJo will be happening this month. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> next, you into the next one. Glad, glad your fridge is okay. Thank you. And I'm sorry for taking so long on JoJo. It's okay. We will watch more JoJo, don't worry. We'll get through five episodes. Well, we Riley's watch sick right now, so you can watch JoJo now. Well, we're, yeah. we're busy with the pot right now. Well, not now. He's sick. Yeah. When he gets better, I will we'll watch... Tomorrow. I will watch jo I will bit... But he's We're home to all day tomorrow. Oh. Are you working? And also, we're doing a Mori tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're probably already... the weekend. We'll probably do JoJo on the weekend. Okay, we're we're getting off track. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. We got. It. We don't need to discuss this. We don't need to discuss our plans. Yeah. All right. Really, you well, want? Uh... This next one's about to be green a man and blue turtle here. Yeah. So, I love Pokemon. I, we all do. Been a part of our lives for a long time. <clears throat> and uh -huh. uh, Scarlet and Violet released their uh, DLCs, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed both of them. I uh, I really love the uh, the new characters they brought in. I like their personalities and the stories was actually pretty intriguing although they do feel a bit short especially um the teal mask one i, I pretty much finished with that in like a couple days okay. um obviously i can't say too much because uh, someone hasn't played it yet well, someone hasn't finished <laughs> Been burnt out, my guy. You've been burnt out longer than your fridge has. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Take a while, man. <laughs> you know how long you know how long my burnouts take. Two years. I don't. Two years. So, what was your favorite Damn. thing from the what deal? What was your map? favorite thing about the DLC? Um. Well, I, I first I was reunited with my boy Totodile. 
my favorite oh, yeah. of all time. The goat. Yes. Croc. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, the characters. Uh, the characters were really great. Um, there was a lot of nice quality of life updates that they added with both the DLCs that I really like. And just nice. like the battles themselves uh, actually felt like somewhat of a challenge. The music. And the music. Oh, the yeah. music very good. Good. Oh, because oh, I mean, it's obviously Gen 5, so. Yeah. Kind of the past generation. <laughs> what? The good music. Oh, yeah, it's based in Gen 5, yeah. yeah it sure is. Mm-hmm. Who do you like more, Ogre Pond or the Turtle? Uh, Tropicals. Tropicals. I, the name. I have a play the DLC. Well, now you well, know. Actually, no, it, it shows. The yeah, it shows in like in the yeah. trailer. Yeah. I'm gonna keep two. calling him Blue Turtle. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> I feel like they gave a lot Tropicals. more pers- uh, a lot more relevance and personality to Ogre Pond, so I like Ogre Pond a lot more, and it's so cute. By the way. <laughs> what about what about um. <laughs> Uh, what, what's it called? If you, say, if, you, if you say the brother and sister, you what you know his his answer for that one. The brother and sister. I was talking about Petrarun. Oh, Petrarun. Uh, yeah, the the epilogue. Mm-hmm. Uh, epilogue, mythical, legendary, whatever it is. Yeah. The ball. Rosa Menace. <laughs> Have you seen like theories Gosh. of? what like people making theories of uh, what could have happened or what they thought would happen in the part 2 DLC uh, like how people thought <laughs> Gita was gonna be the evil villain in part 2 and oh. yeah have you not seen theory videos no <laughs> okay you seen the map map no. videos um, no. Oh. Does he make? All right. Well, now I can't no. talk he, about he it anymore. Some, he does some on Pokemon, but I think he leans away from it. Well, it's because yeah, he does nah. the you know the, the next topic that FNAF we'll talk man. about in a moment. But yeah, he's the FNAF man. So. Uh, All right. Speaking of FNAF. Yeah. This movie, this movie, I've been waiting a long time for. Yeah, you know, I've been a, I've been a Five Nights at Freddy's fan for a long time since high school. <clears throat> uh, Clearly, yeah. When I finally saw that they were actually making a movie and going forward with it, I was so hyped for that. Mm-hmm. I told my friend Yo, because he's also a FNAF fan, we gotta mm-hmm. get tickets for this day one, day one. And damn right we did. We went there opening night. Shit was lit at the theater. Mm-hmm. Everybody was dressed like well, not everybody because we're not as cool over here. Uh, there was a lot of there was a few people dressed in cosplay. Mm-hmm. Mine was full of cosplays. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mine was just full of dates. What? Like boyfriends and girlfriends go- going to go see the movie together. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant like, uh, like, like it was rude. all like, it was a couple. All, like, no, it was all couples just going to go see it together, so. Which was cute, but Friend. I could tell that it was most of them were just probably like boyfriends dragging their girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yo, Samantha, uh, this is a movie I want to see. I think it's going to be pretty good. You want <laughs> It's a horror well, movie. I ordered the cheese pizza and it was so good. Mm. Damn, I wish uh, my uh, theaters had like promotional stuff for it, but we didn't. I was like, damn, they were yeah. they did actually sell like pizza and like a little little cart on the side. They were like, Aww. they knew what they were doing. They didn't give. They, they know what they were doing. They know the I audience. Really, I really wanted the the, the Panap box, but they didn't. They had, yeah, they didn't have it in my theater. Now, uh, the movie itself, after I watched it, yeah. uh, I'll admit it was, it was pretty dumb, but it was very fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
There's it a lot a of things. Yeah, pretty good yeah. movie. Yeah, there was a lot and, of problems with it, but for a FNAF movie, it's pretty much what you expect. So it's just fun. Yeah. So the they did the special thing at the end. So yeah, they got the living tombstone. Yeah, they got the living tombstone at the end, which I did not expect. Oh, so no I guessed it. it at- I guess that before I watched the movie, I'm like, this song is gonna be in there. Yeah. <laughs> Who was your I favorite? I astonished yeah. Eden. Huh? I astonished you when we were watching. Oh, oh when I, towards the end, when the song came on. And you oh. asked if it was gonna be in there. I was like, yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Mm-hmm. Who is your favorite character in the film? Because there's a lot of iconic people in the film. My favorite character, huh? Obviously, um, Ness. Ness? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Ness, yeah. Uh, uh, what was the, the lawyer's name again? Uh, oh, <laughs> that was a D. I forget his name, but I know who you're talking about. Oh man, I'm so bad with names. Like, I know. Yeah. Oh gosh. Devon. Shoot, hold on. Hold on. Gotta... We gotta let you go. I know. We gotta look up. Fi- we gotta look up Five Nights at Freddy's thousand, now. Thousand yard stare. <laughs> Dude, I don't uh, even remember uh, everyone's uh, name. Uh, yeah. Doug. 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 Yeah. The one is that he should not be listening to any of what like these people are saying. Doug was so funny. <laughs> That's always it's TikTok. So funny. It's always TikToks. I know, I saw the TikTok too. Yeah. Oh man, his TikToks are Also, I heard that they did Doug Dirty mm-hmm. in the book too. I was like, damn. Why'd you write him like that? Oh. I haven't read the I'm not a nerd. No, I haven't read the books either, so. I've heard some pretty I've heard some pretty cursed stuff from the books though. There's so. a map at Andreg. Yeah. Also, oh god. I cannot believe they snuck Nebraska into the movie. <laughs> they did sneak Nebraska into the Oh my dude, fucking map pack crying? That was like the best acting I've ever seen. True. I know. It's like I mm-hmm. I wasn't invited to the set and I felt bad. And then, you know, know, we see him in the movie, and I'm mad. And put us in the race. Yeah. Just like, fuck you for lying to us. Never saw that video, and I already thought that Matt Pat would be in the movie anyways. I know. Well, that's because you didn't see the video with of him <clears throat> yeah. saying, like, I was not invited to the set. Like, you know, like, and he was crying, too. Like, he was actually putting on, like, the performance of a lifetime. Oh. Just like... And then he's in the movie. He's like you look here. Gosh. Well, you believed him. He was I did. genuine. He looked genuine. How could you not believe Matt Pat? In a way, he was in Broadway, so like makes sense. Yeah, yeah. He was. He's an actor, so he's a theater kid. Major yep. theater kid. Yep. We hint it toward it. We love him. Yeah, we love him. Oh goodness. He's retiring. Congratulations. So, we don't yeah. need your it's favorite. Too soon. It's too soon. I know. It's pretty much everything a fan would want for a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Um, basically, just a fun sort of mini horror movie. Uh, there could have yeah. been a bit more done with it, but I overall enjoyed it. Yeah. Who's your favorite character, Riley? Doug. He said Doug. He said Doug. He said Doug. That's what we were talking no, about. No, no, no. I meant out of the animatronic. Out of the animatronic. Oh, the animatronic. Ooh. Um. In all the games or the movie? Cupcake. The cupcake. No, no, in the, the cupcake movie. He's in the movie. The cupcake. Yeah, the the cupcake was a little like ravage. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Dog. It was. Oh, yeah. yeah. More kills the than any cupcake. other. The cupcake. Yeah. Like, that's the funniest part to me is that the cupcake got the most kills out of all of them. I like the Bonnie. 
where, she, where he was trying to uh, edge Freddy to know that he's here, but didn't notice it. Yeah. <laughs> what about in the Gosh. game? In the game? Yeah, do you have a favorite in the game? In all the games. Oh, oh gosh. Um, the entire uh, franchise. You gotta think of what? your favorite character. <clears throat> that's what. Ooh. Um. I think I'll have to go with. Foxy. <clears throat> yeah. I think Foxy would be my favorite. He's a, he's a classic. Yeah. Which one? Boy Foxy? Withered Foxy? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, don't, don't do this to him. Don't do this to him. <laughs> yeah. He's sick, okay? He can't think right now. I'm dying. <coughs> think about all the creation. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta move on. We gotta move on to, you know just what? not to kill Riley. Roxanne Wolf, sure. Whatever. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> We're done with Five Nights. <laughs> Give us the Totodile. Alright. Totodile. You might be thinking, what is that referencing there, that t posing Totodile? <clears throat> uh, the D&D. That's right. D &D. We are referencing the D&D. D&D. Yeah. You're finally having the opportunity Yay. to Tommy. Are you, are you waiting yeah. how many years? It's been a while. Um, Tommy was like one of the first uh, Pokemon D&D &D characters we, uh, we created. You created? Um, well, I mean, like, for our D&D. &D. Yeah, for our D&D. Um, however, it was... Uh, that D&D &D was unfortunately put to rest, so... Uh, when I got the opportunity to use him again in our current new D&D, &D, I was, like, super ecstatic about that, because I really loved him and his character. He definitely like one of the most iconic. <laughs> I remember. That ever made of our I yeah. remember in the original. <laughs> he like in the very first episode, he like broke all his teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he broke all. He was trying to. Um, I think he bit into a rock or, or yeah. something or probably the dugong from the beach. And then the he dugong. just. I think it was actually like a Lapras or that something, and I bit onto a shell. shell. No, there oh. was no Lapras. Hmm. It was a dugong. I think it was the, in I the think beach. You bit onto the dugong's horn or yeah. something. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make sense. I don't know, man. The D and D was so long ago. All I know it's is that there's rare. there was no Lapras. It was only the two gold. I, I, re I think I remember in that D and D, Tommy would just accents like all the time. Oh and yeah. He never, he never had to his voice. There was exquisite Tommy when they were fighting. When everyone was fighting the Articuno, and he was covered in snow, <laughs> so he like had a a snow top hat and monocle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and Lucy was just like, Tommy? <laughs> yeah, like, what happened? <laughs> you still remember yeah. the voice, right? Oh, yeah, do you still remember the voice? Oh, good heavens. Oh, yeah, that voice. I never thought I'd be bringing you this <laughs> voice yeah. back again. Yeah. <laughs> That's the voice. And sometimes you I just gotta. Think... Uh... I must say, I no. sound quite dashing. Yes. So many... You had a voice when 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 Tommy had dentures. You had a voice for that. Oh yeah. Yeah, like yeah. where's the, like the lisp? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> that was yeah. funny. Yeah. I also remember when this was like towards the end of the D and D, um, when. We went into the volcano, like full of all the fire types, and all the fire types were all racist towards water types. Oh, yeah. And they saw Tommy, they... and they were gonna take him away. And then Tommy gave the super heartfelt, like rip off, like I have a dream speech yeah. about how water types and <laughs> you have and the recording too. I have the recording. I have it all recorded on yeah, my TikTok. I, 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 and... 
like Abby is just like, oh, that was so beautiful. All right, time to sacrifice him now. Yeah, like, all right, time, time to go. <laughs> yeah, time to got carried away. Yeah. <laughs> and then we never saw My him again. My favorite. Oh, that was funny. It's one of the funniest things. Like. My favorite scene that I had with Tommy was when Starstorm fell down into a hole that was trapped. Oh then, yeah. Oh, no, no, not Star or, It was Wiz. No, no, no. It was actually No, it was Wiz. 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 And then the Starstorm hole. tried to Star -Storm help. went to help and and <laughs> And so then Tommy came over. No, but then Lucy Lucy tried to help too, I think. Um, yeah, like I something did. about having was... having to grab have whips grab onto yeah. his her face. Grab my nose. Yeah, because <laughs> <Grab my> <laughs> we were making fun of how Lucy had a big nose. <laughs> yeah. And Tom, I I liked how creative Riley was with um, like there was the shoulder. two shelters that were knocked out, and I think there was like a piece of vine tile on there too, and so he. <laughs> He thought it was a great idea to grab the shelter and swing on this vine to hopefully get the others out of the hole. <laughs> yep. I think it's six I think he succeeded too. Yeah, he succeeded. I think he yeah. succeeded, yeah. Gosh. Like this that is a great D and D. This is the yeah, this is our first but this is Abby's first attempt at posting a, a D and D. Yep. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. there was that was, other first one. There was the, there was the, the other first. The we don't talk about the Nuzlocke. <laughs> yeah, the Nuzlocke. Yeah, we don't was, talk about that. That was weird. That was. That, yeah. That was interesting. We don't talk about that one. Yeah. And but I mean, the... I mean, my Paris Paris. That was fun. <laughs> you did debut Paris Paris. I had a oh bogus gosh. Name, what was your name remember again? What? Uh, I don't remember. I remember yeah. you found a moonstone very early, and yeah. you're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna evolve this Clefairy," <clears throat> and she was like the only one that was just unstoppable, while the others just had like. Small Pokemon and had to get through yeah. the gym. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't remember any of my Pokemon in that DM. Really? You don't remember Dante? Really don't. You don't remember your starter, I, Dante? That's crazy. Who the fuck was Dante? Your Charmeleon. Yeah. You had a Charmeleon? Named you, Dante? You, picked, <laughs> you picked a Charmander and named him Dante. I don't remember that. Oh, I feel so bad. And and then on, gotta... and then um, Cece had Evie named Sherp because um named Herb. from Insurgents. Yeah. Oh, oh my and gosh! Just... You put, you made them cameos in the mystery dungeon. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Well, not not, in, not, not, the back, one. not in the current one. That was in the, the original. No, oh, yeah. no, the first, the first D and D, the first like mystery dungeon D and D. You made cameos for them. You gotta do another cameo. Yep. <laughs> you gotta oh, bring them back. <laughs> from the from the other D and D. Yeah, from the other D and D. You gotta bring them back. Be like, you guys look familiar. Actually, actually, I wanna I wanna see what Clefable's name was. I know, I I'm, just I'm trying to pull up the document right now. I just, remember, the beats? I just remember putting Clefable in my handbag. That's all I remember. Down. Put the, uh, put the gif on screen, the Spongebob one. What's his name? What's his name? So, okay. So CC's character was named Kiki. Riley's was Alistair. Yep. yep. Mine was and, Connie. I yeah, remember and, that. And then Eden's was Luna. Yeah. And that's also why we keep confusing Connie with, um, with Cameron. Well, I Courtney. Cameron. Oh, I remember. I, I wrote a doc for the memorable events. And, like, <laughs> there was one part yeah. where you guys were in Viridian Forest. And 
Kiki found a Venusaur. And yep. And then you guys found this uh, bug catcher. Apparently his name was Dung. <laughs> and then like uh, I think Kiki won the battle and everyone was like pressing Connie to bully the guy by <laughs> pushing him. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, oh. it went like this. It went like Kiki. Uh, Kiki got like an item from that. Oh yeah, a TM, a TM. It and was a TM. so there was a TM, TM. And she was asking if you want this, I want you to do this thing to or push the push the guy the bug catcher yeah. guy down if you want it because it was called payback. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. And so, like, um, Hannah rolled a very high number. And so I told her that she pushed him so hard that he knocked out. Like, he tripped and hit his that. head somewhere. Connie, Connie had, like, previously good strength. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. She was very tall, too. She was the tallest. She was like five. Yeah. 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 She was tall. She was just a big girl. So. Yeah. I had a red tata named Remy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the Clefable's name was Hiccups. Becky. Oh yeah. Becky the Sparrow. Oh, and then Becky there was the a Sparrow. there was that one time where where you guys were fighting this youngster boy, and. He was. I don't know who defeated him first, but he didn't have anything else to give, like as a reward. And when it got to Connie, he was I offering his the... his clothing. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you put she put it on Dante. Oh yeah, the. Uh, I gave Dante away clothes. Yeah. I gave Dante his hat, and I had a Nidorino. Oh. I had a knit arena and I gave him like his pants. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> like like. <laughs> oh yeah, you drew it too. I remember. Yeah, I drew it. Oh sh I gotta send you. I gotta send you those drawings. So you had to show it to yeah. <laughs> to the other. Yeah. Oh god. I know. That was funny. Should we move to the next topic? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, my final one is about Magic the Gathering. Uh, that card right there is a, uh, a ring from the Lord of the Rings set. Uh, now, I did not pull it because it was a one of one, only one in existence card of the one ring. Now, do I think they should have done that? No, prob probably not. Because uh, it was basically like finding the golden ticket. But whoever did got very lucky. And it is at now actually in the hands of Post Malone. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Damn. Wait, that's right. Oh, damn. Yeah, Post Malone's a big Magic Gathering fan, and he uh, purchased the card off the guy for, I think it was like $2.5 million. Oh my god. You should have you right. met Post Malone. Yeah, I, you, you right? could have had that much money. Oh my it wouldn't god. have actually been too far to drive from where I am now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he lives pretty close. It's unfortunate. You could have been a millionaire. Really unfortunate. Yep, could have been... Making more decks, probably. So, um, sure. why am I talking about this? Well, you bought the car. No, you or didn't. He doesn't have that much money. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I had that much money. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I I started recently playing the game, uh, mostly because a friend. Yeah, pushed me to do it. A peer and pressure. I'm to be at first. Yeah, uh, I had just come off of uh, Pokemon. I used to play the Pokemon TCG a lot, but I kind of fell off after 
our local game store stopped hosting events. Oh. That was around in a COVID-ish era. Yeah. Um, so then I started to get into this game, Magic. Uh, I bought a deck. Uh, the first one was a collab deck with D&D. And it was a, a dragon deck. Because fucking dragons are cool shit. Yeah. And I started to get into the game a lot more. I've been playing it a lot. It's been really fun. And I play it like all the time. Pretty much every weekend now. Yeah, that's been a big part of my life, especially the last year. Hell yeah. That's a very nice story. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for those. I'm looking for those fucking drawings in the background, my guy. Okay. <laughs> well, it is your turn now to present it is your, my turn. It is your turn. So I'll look for, unless, I'll unless look for them. I'll look for them later. later. <laughs> I know, I'll look for them during first. Eden's story. No, no, I'm not going last. Yeah, unless you want me to go first. But... You have I'm not going last. the uh, different uh, grid. Oh, so I haven't shown you my one. updated one yet. You should yes. show us your update no. one. I'm, I'm showing you the one right now. I'm showing you my updated one right now. I'm putting it in the Hangout chat. We're you want to do a voice call cool message, huh? Voice call cool message would be easier, but okay. Okay, well, I was just gonna make it easier for Abby to, you know, not go through channel to channel, but okay. Just end it. Okay. End it. I'm. So, my turn. Oh my god. There's one thing I changed. What'd you change? <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> I see the change. Oh, you swapped okay. one. Okay. Uh, something. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll start um, with um, we'll, we'll start with um the outlier out of them all. So, which is Ted Lasso. We'll start with Ted Lasso. Now, I've heard Ted Lasso is a Apple original TV uh, show. Um, a lot of things about like a lot of good things, but I did not know how it was gonna go. It was just like you know what. I have Apple TV because I canceled um, one of my other streaming services. And I'm just like, you know what? Apple TV seems like a better deal. There seems like a lot of better things on it. Let me give it a shot. Goes. I have never like related to a character that is like Ted Lasso in my entire life. Like Ted Lasso, like moral wise, he is this what the show is about is that Ted Lasso is this very southern, like southern hospitality, like like ball coach, like middle school football coach, who is hired by a uh, like a UK, you know, like UK so football, which is soccer, like a UK, like a professional UK soccer team. Um, to like coach for like their whole um, like club like their like soccer club like football and like coach for them basically for a professional soccer team he has never coached like soccer his entire and he's kind of just winging it and it is just his journey into becoming what the entire town call uh, Ridgeback um, the entire town calls him like wanker at first and then he becomes like the the whole town hero basically and it's just his journey from like zero to hero and it's one of the most heartwarming stories that you'll ever watch in your entire life he he's just a very sweet man he's a very sweet man and like personality wise he actually reminds me a lot of my mom which is really well but it is a show that I highly recommend um, for to people to watch. Like if they have Apple TV or they're interested in Apple TV, it is uh, it is very fun. It's very funny. It's 
really emotional too. I cried like quite a lot, like while wa watching it. So it's this is very sweet. So how did you end up getting into watching a, a sports show? I just heard a lot of good things about it. Like I was not expecting like really anything. I wasn't expecting it to be like my favorite one of my favorite things like of this year i just thought like okay well i'll give it a shot like you know i i've heard a lot of people talking about it and i've seen like clips from it but you know i i have i don't know like really what the story's about and i tried it out and i ended up loving it so there's just a lot of likable characters in the show and when you think the show is going to be like super dark and it's going in a road that you don't think that you don't really like it really like portrays like a really positive message at the end instead of like going for like the revenge route or whatever for certain characters and it's just it's very nice i i like it it's very sweet okay good to know Thank you. I talked a lot about that one. I'm sorry. Uh, to the oh. next one, which is something that the boys will know. So it is... I know too. You know too. You know too. I just say boys because I'm used to it. So um, mm. I'm not gonna comment. For, I'm not gonna comment what Eden just said in the fucking VC messages. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to the next subject because we're running low on time. But Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Volume Three. I don't really need to say like any praises about it more than the film has already gotten from the entire fan base. Like, it is such a fresh air compared to everything that we have gotten from Marvel for the last couple of years. Like, I, I'm like it, I hate to say it, but like ever since like Endgame, like they have taken such a massive note dive in quality and it's it hurts to see but when you have the exceptions like this like i feel like the only exceptions that we've gotten are the spider-man movies and um guardians of the galaxy 3 like with this one i this made me cry this film fucked me up <laughs> because of the entire you know rocket storyline and oh my gosh the whole scene with lila and everything like oh it was fucking awful but it was so good it was just a really really nice conclusion to the story i i love the ending so much and it is i it's a film that i wasn't expecting to be one of my favorite like Marvel movies to date, but it has. I think about that film. I think about how that film impacted me, and it's just like, yeah, no, that that film stuck with me. That's one of my favorites now. So. Yeah, honestly, that was one of my favorite um, Marvel movies that I've watched. Mhm. Mm I was like, damn. These right for me. Animals about to make me cry. I know. <laughs> Expect it. There's just a lot of like emotional scenes about it, and like there's a lot of like heartfelt messages too. Just like you know, Finn, not Finn, but um, Star Lord, um, Peter, you know, learning to you know forgive the past and reconnect and everything, and like. <laughs> Drax, the whole connection from like the first film where Drax like stated, I don't dance basically. And then with the ending with him like dancing with all the kids and everything, it was just because he's always wanted a family again. It was just really sweet. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just there's just so many good things about this. And I, I think it was a end off for all the characters. So, it was a good movie. It was a very good movie. Abby, do you have anything to say? Or you haven't seen the movie yet, have you? No. I don't watch a lot of movies, remember? I know you don't like I I know you don't watch a lot of movies. Yeah. So I can't say much. I know, I know. Alright, but I'll I'll move on to my next one. 
which is very it's the first video game we have on wow our... first vi is dave the diver nice. i love i love this game i love this game i know i love this game so much. oh that's what eden meant yeah, what, what, what? <laughs> What are you- Cause he where? mentioned Dave the Diver. Um... What was it, going. today? Yeah, it just- So, yeah, it just got an announcement that it's having a Godzilla Yeah, that's um, what he was DLC talking about. To it. I am so excited. Because if there's anything more than, you know, if there's another thing I love as much as Dave- Godzilla. I love Godzilla, and this is just like a. I was already excited when Dave the Diver like we had a collaboration with Dredge, another one of my favorite games of the year that didn't make the list. Um, unfortunately, just because I like I like Dave the Diver a little bit more. Um, but I'm so excited when they had a collaboration, and then they just announced that they're having a Godzilla collaboration. That is amazing. That's so cool, and I I cannot wait to see what else comes from this. But it's it's such like a small game, like small game that is huge, like in retrospect. And there's so many like small elements that make this game like perfect, in my opinion. There's so much charm like added to this, and just the replayability of like going from it's it's essentially like a dungeon crawler. Like that's the best way I can put it. Like you. You go through, like, you just go through day by day, like, catching fish, like, going deeper and deeper, and then, so your day is done, you go back to your restaurant, and you make sushi. You make sushi for your customers, and you give them a happy meal. A happy meal. And all the characters, you give them a happy meal, and all the characters are just super lovable. There is a su sushi chef who has a dark past with, like, a hotel and everything, but he is the boss especially when you level him up you get to see really spicy him. and then you have dave the diver who's just a very chill dude you have the um kind of like egotistical like remember, guy with the white hair in the background i forget his name um who kind of just using dave for money learn to love him as you go on and then you have um your expert who is a secret weeaboo um, behind the screen and who crafts all your weapons and you have to go get his anime figures that sunk to the bottom of the ocean and is being guarded by like a giant squid basically it's it there's just so much oh my gosh huh. there's a lot to love all right and every time every time you give like an excellent meal to a to a food critic uh they mo they explode with pleasure literally basically hmm. and there's just there's a lot there's a lot to love about this game i love it i love it so much they die when and they I explode or no they, there's just like a bunch of like hearts it's just really them. happy like they're really happy i'll show you clips later but they're just really happy basically um and they're or they're crying or they're just like their shirt like rips open basically. Their shirt rips. It's it's a very ja very Japanese game. Okay. It's a really Japanese game, but it's it's so much fun. It's just so charming. I love it. So. Hey. Oh, good. It's good. Now on to the next one. We have a repeat, our first repeat of my thing. Which is again Scooby. I've always been like a Scooby fan, so I'm always down to watch Scooby with the boys. Um, and it's just this—it's been so much fun, like going back and like, you know, rewatching like all my favorites from when I was a child and discovering like new favorites, like with the Phantasaur movie. So that is that—that that I would say is a new favorite Scooby Doo movie of mine. I haven't seen—I didn't see it when I was a kid. It was my first time watching it during the marathon. So. And I also discovered some movies that I probably never watch again. <laughs> thanks to thanks to the boys. So like the Lego movies, and we don't talk about the Lego movies. They're they're awful. Yeah. I won't bring them up ever again. But 
yeah it it's just a really it's just a it's just been a fun marathon i don't know what else to say about it like riley already said a lot like during it so can't wait for the next one by the way i can't wait for the next one it's gonna be the batman one i think oh yeah have the velma and daphne uh movie after that also that yeah who will know <laughs> yeah which oh, the, all i have to say about that one is that i know the ghost is writing a hoverboard scenes and i'm not excited so okay on to something that i know no one has seen none of you guys have seen it which is okay but you really should it is a little it is by far like my favorite anime series of the year which i actually haven't seen that much anime like this year like i was very selective with what i watched this year but it's by far my favorite anime series that i watched this year which is pluto um it is a urusawa um um, netflix adaptation of his comic book not his comic book but his manga also titled pluto the last um Urwasawa work that we got was with Monster, which was a detective show. This is essentially if you took Monster and find it with sci-fi and Monster Boy, because that's what Pluto is. Pluto is a is a modern retelling and reimagining of um, the Astro Boy story. Um. I forget the Astro. I forget Astro Boy is like um, the creator, the creator's name of Astro Boy, but essentially, the he like the whole estate basically granted Urbasawa the opportunity to re to reimagine, um, you know, the story of the story of Astro Boy because he's had like a lot of critical acclaim and everything um, with 20th Century Boys and Monster and. Um, like he he's made a lot of masterpieces like over in Japan and everything but they gave him this opportunity to do a reimagining and it is essentially um the sto- like this reimagining basically follows the story of a detective um who is on the case to figure out who killed um this universe's version of Astro Boy so the the um, hero that we all know and love is dead in this role. Astro is alive. He is alive in this, but he's not the Astro Boy that we know in this. Like all the characters are in a part of this universe, but they all take like different roles, and it's just like a really cool imagine, like reimagining of the story. I love the manga. I was so excited to see the anime. Um, the animation is beautiful. Um, it's only eight episodes. Each, like an hour long, each episode covers like a volume of the manga, only eight episodes. If you ever want to <laughs> watch it, please give it a shot because I, it is, a, it is a crime of like how this has basically become buried within like Netflix's like, um, like platform and like how they have barely advertised this show and it is it is an actual crime that not enough people watch this like more people need to watch this so it is a it is a mystery it is a thriller it is full of action suspense it's just great animation please watch it that's all i ask i do like astro boy so i do like astro boy Radar. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Mhm. We'll have to watch it sometime after we finish JoJo, obviously. So. For sure. For sure. Okay. Now, now on to the next one. The only one that I changed <laughs> out of my original list. Oh, and if you could see the, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The live action One Piece. Yep. Um. I did not expect to like this as much as I did. I, this, 
I like I rewatched this like three times. And it did the thing that I never thought a live action would be able to make me do. It got me to watch the anime. I have started watching One Piece, the anime, because of the live action, which is insane to me. So I never thought that would be that would happen. But I'm guessing your favorite character from that is Buggy, based off yeah what you put in the group. yeah. It's, uh, listen, the like all the acting, like Oda did so job like with the casting of the live action like it was like scaringly good like on how well like these characters kind of fit in their roles and everything like Luffy is great Sanji is great even Nami is good in like certain parts and everything and everyone is really good the only character that I didn't really care for was Zoro to like to be honest like I didn't really like, I thought he was too broody at times, which, if you know Zoro from the anime, he's not really broody. He's more of a dumbass. <laughs> so I was kind of kind of disappointed that they changed him from, like, a, being a, like, a hard dumbass to just, like, broody and kind of emo. So that was a little disappointing. But by far, the best character was Buggy. He was so much fun. So much fun to watch on screen. And, like, when he finally showed, like, I never understood, like, why people like Buggy so much. It's just, like, he's, he, like, his character design is kind of ugly in the anime. Like, he seems kind of annoying. I don't, I don't get it. And then I watched the live action version of him. It was like, oh, oh, no, no, I, I do get it. I, okay, I, yeah, damn it. But, so... Yeah, it, it's just great. It's just a really great anime. Um, I will say the Do you have budget. For the what? No, I don't. Do you have I really for... don't. Which I don't. I, which also confuses me as to why I like him so much. It's just his personality. Would this make I you like want to watch the anime? Yes. Th- this I already started watching the anime. I'm on episode. Yeah, she was doing it. Yeah, no. this show did the impossible and it got me into the anime. What what episode are you at? I am on episode I haven't gone that far. Um, but I am on episode I think episode thirty two or thirty three. So I, I'm taking my time with it. Because I know it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm taking my time with it. It's not going anywhere. So, but it got me into One Piece, which was a surprise for me. So, I will say the budget probably could have been better. Like, there were some scenes where, especially, like, with Luffy, like, stretching and everything. Like, using his powers and everything that looked like a, ooh, looked a little rough. But, I mean, like, production-wise, like, the sets and everything, they looked great. It was just, like, the CGI in certain parts that was, like, the only gripe I had with the show, so. I have to go back on the Azora comment that you said you didn't like him because of the way you said but he yeah. acts the same to me for the anime. What do you think, Hubby? He's literally the only good-looking character in the <laughs> live yeah. action. Like, yeah. I'm not, judge- like, listen, and I'm not shaming me. the way he looks. He's good. I think looks-wise, yeah, he looks great. But personality-wise, I- I'm watching the dub of the anime. Why, to me, Why are you watching the but- sub? <laughs> I'm watching because the, watching because the dub the... It in in the rem- remake for the live action. Why are you I'm watching, watching the, the dub? Man. Why are you watching the dub? Because I, you because need Zoro's to watch funny. the sub. Okay. Because Zoro is a dumbass in the dub. Okay, but he's like, he's only a dumbass because he doesn't know his directions. Yeah. Like he gets lost. Which I think is yeah. funny. Easily. 
I think they kind of took yeah. that away from him in the live action. So well, yeah, it's because he's supposed to be the cool and yeah, you know, and like cool I don't guy. like it when Zoro's cool. I like it when he's a dumbass. I mean, he's cool in the anime too. He's cool in the anime. Right. He's like a cool sure. dumbass. <clears throat> I'm sure cool later dumbass. when they got. I'm sure See, when later in the in the. I'm like, please let me speak. Sorry, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sure. I'm sure later when the the live action remake, they will might show his more uh, dumb side later, to See, the point where he gets himself lost and whatnot. It was just the viewing of his first viewing of everyone. Yeah, like which is why I'm hoping that he's going to get better. Just for me, I just feel like just like stood out a lot more. No, I think it's just the problem from Netflix side. How they don't portray the characters like a hundred percent correctly from the anime. Yeah. So it could be hard, but I think for everyone else, like I think they did a really good job. So Zoro kind of got the short end of the stick a little bit. So not looks. Looks wise, he looks great. He's hot. We all know this. Just, Just hot. yeah, they're all hot, Riley. Okay, get off your high horse. They're all hot. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I ain't judging. Yeah. Everyone is hot in that show. All right, moving on. We have another surprise for me, which is the boy and the heron. So. I, the moment that this was announced, like, a few years ago, I was so excited because, obviously, Hayao Miyazaki has been on hiatus for many, many, many years. And, like, three separate times. Like, he's retired three separate times. We all thought, like, okay, no, he's officially done. Nope. He came back to Studio Ghibli, and he decided to make one more film. But now that's also outdated because he's going to make more films after this so he's I never gonna retire but he's never gonna retire he's gonna he's gonna retire when he dies basically so yeah. that's basically gonna go um but the boy and the heron i was really ex- i knew nothing the only thing i knew about this uh was that the english cast was going to be stacked robert pattinson was going to voice the bird and that he sounded like an absolute like goblin like yeah. voicing the like voicing the heron and it was like what is this i have to go see the dub now i cannot watch the sub i have to go see robert pattinson just saying yeah mother like in the <laughs> crazy voice that he gave to the heron and like it, it was definitely worth it i i really like the movie it is there are some gripes that I had with it. Like, it's not my favorite Ghibli movie. Like, when I watched, when I finished it, I was like, okay, yeah, that was pretty good. It, but it is a film that I have not stopped thinking about since watching it. And it is a film that I had to, like, go watch a second time because of, like, how much I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like, it is, one, it is by far the most beautiful, like, Ghibli film, uh, like, ever. Like, oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Like, the soundtrack is something that has also stuck with me. Um, it is a little bit of, like, a confusing, like, because it's such a hard movie to explain. But basic, the best way I can explain it is that this heron, like, so the boy, it's like a story of grief and like learning to move on. And this boy keep not this heron keeps taunting this boy um, <laughs> by like telling him that he could see his dead mom again and it's just like 
there's it, it's a story about grief and just moving on. That's the best way I can describe it. There's a lot of birds. I was not expecting there to be so many birds. And as someone who loves birds and loves drawing birds, wasn't expecting there to be more than one species of bird. But there, I can confirm, there are like five species of Ghibli birds, and I was there for it. There was like a whole parakeet kingdom. I was just so there for it. So that looks cool to see. Can't wait till yeah. I watch that. I know. Like, I, I, I like I, king birds as well. Yeah, it is. Like it's also like very. It could be very gory at times as well. Like I feel like Ghibli hasn't had like a really like gory like film since Princess Mononoke but this one there's like a scene oh my gosh like there are kids in this theater right now and I, I'm shocked that there is like full blood and everything it was like wow okay so it's it's definitely um the most adult like Ghibli film that we've gotten in a long, long time so recommend it. I, I give it a shot, so. I don't know what else I could say about it. Besides, you know, it's it's a really good Julie movie, so. It was one of my favorite animated films of the year. That's about it. Anyway. <laughs> on to, um, my second favorite video game of the year. A video Dude, the one that you wanted to be game of the, the year. The one that I have yeah. the party game for the year. The party game, my party game, that I have been wanting for so long, and I still remember the moment where I was like at work and like the direct was happening, and I got so many DMs like at guys. It's just like, what the hell is happening? And you guys sent me the clip. <laughs> And it was finally announced after a, like, 16-year wait or something. We finally got Pikmin 4. And I am so happy because it is by far, like, it is probably my favorite game of the year. I've played a lot of games this year. And I love a lot of games. There's been a lot of good games that came out this year. Pikmin 4 is so, like... It is probably my favorite game of the year. It was absolutely worth the wait. Like, like when you first play it, like, through the main story and everything, it's just like, oh, like, no, really, that was worth the wait, but it was good. But then you get to the post-game. The post-game. Oh, oh. So good, man. Like, the post-game... Is like an entirely second game. Like, it's twice the length of like a normal Pikmin game. It's just, oh, it's so good. There's so much love that's put into it. Like, you have new Pikmin. You have all the classic Pikmin coming back, which that wasn't, they weren't all there in Pikmin 3. You only had like the four Pikmin, or no, the five Pikmin in Pikmin 3. But this one, you got your purple Pikmin back. You got your poison Pikmin back. And then you got your brand new ice Pikmin back. You get ice Pikmin in this game, which that was super cool. And you get the best boy, the best boy, Ochi, who I love him so much. He's a boy who <laughs> the entire post game is dedicated to him. And I can't spoil like what happens in the post game. But it's just, oh, it's so good. I, I, I love it. There's so much to love about the game, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what else I could say. Just, I, I, I get this game for so, so long. I, I love it. So I've played through this game so many times. Oh, you customize your own character. That was something that was absolutely unexpected, but oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> It was so much fun finally being able to customize your character. It is a little sad just because it kind of takes away, like, the um, personalities that, like, the, the, you know, the blues, like, with the old 
um, main characters that you used to play in like the old games and everything, you kind of lose that sense of like personality. Um, but it's also really fun just because like, you know, you get to actually customize your own character and everything. And there is still personality. You can choose your own dialogues and everything. And still, you can make them how you want to be. So it's fun. It's just a great game. It's just fun. And then lastly, we have probably like my favorite, my Before favorite animated movie one. of the year. Before you go to last yeah, one. This is, what? Can you make yeah. the can you make the Pikmin noise? The wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, I, I gotta get the right pitch. <laughs> I just gotta do something there like that. I don't know. There it is. All right, yeah. Right. I go on. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's i used to be able to do it but like i have to be it's i have to be like a certain amount of tired to be able to do it like i can't no, i can't do it right now i'm too i'm too like hyper like at the moment i can't do it right now <laughs> all right yeah that's it that's it no more the last one probably my favorite am in a movie of the like Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this. It's just the it. It's you know into the Spider-Verse too. Like it just you know it adds so much more to the whole um, Miles Morales universe and everything. The whole and it's just it's really fun I got I love seeing like all the different characters and everything and I love seeing all the different animation styles and Kobe was great Gwen was great um, Mi um Miguel was great as well um but there was no way in hell we were going to be able to see uh the third movie come out this year there's no i don't know what they were thinking like when they said like coming next year like we're not saying it until like 2026 but and that's okay so but yeah it was it was a great movie so my favorite of the year probably nice oh man that that sequel is gonna be forever till it comes out, I swear. Good movie, yeah. Alright. Time to move on to the final person that has just to share uh, this grid. Mm, Take it away. That is that is me. I'm just left and enjoying it. Damn. Oh, where do I start? Um, okay, well, let's get the stuff that we talked about out of the way. Okay, Bluey, Lethal Company. Oh, that's it. Okay. So, my first box is is my uh, my beautiful um, PlayStation 5 that CC got me for, for so many, so many holidays. <laughs> yep. For, for our anniversary, for my birthday, and for Christmas. That was my gift for all those three. Uh, Maybe nice. more. I don't know. Valentine's. Valentine's. Gift. Valentine's. I know. Hell, look know. crazy. Uh, came with, uh, we came with Spider Man, you know, the game that showed up on Game of the Year. But we're not going to talk about that yet. You know, forever, you didn't play so. Boulder's Gate, so. Well, it's because he's um, still waiting for the crossplay. That's why. That's the only thing that's stopping him. You can do a solo play. <clears throat> you can play. A, you can do a solo play. I feel like he'll uh, be $50. finished. He'll finish before all of us finish. The I acts. will finish for all of you. That's Probably, the thing. Yeah. But like, it's more. F that's it's still fun to play with people. It's still fun. But I mean, if I he know. plays with us, he won't be able to. Uh, romanticize with the characters. 
you know? That's okay. Yeah, you will. Okay, but you can't take, but he can't take them on, you know, quests. No, but you could still do stuff with them at the camp. I don't know what any of that means. You'll find out when you play play with us. Oh, anyway. I'll play it eventually. <laughs> I'll find uh, out eventually. My next, my next uh, thing, my next grid is uh, is the is the toothless meme. I really, I really love it. Oh yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, the so freaking funny. the that one, that one um, Driftvale City theme yeah, with the yeah, toothless. Yeah. It's, it's the <laughs> best theme song. Well, the, I mean, the most overrated, but it's still good. Uh, thought song. Uh, in black and white. It's, it's so funny and I love it. It is really cute. It is a really memorable meme. Yeah. And it like, yeah, it came it's... out like towards the end of 2023. So it counts. Let's go. Yeah, it counts. You gotta explain this next one to me. Um, I've been, you know, I've been, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been eating new foods and, um, I found Magic Spoon because of, um, Certain YouTuber. You mean every YouTuber? Sure. True. Uh, but yeah, I bought a case and it, uh, I ate it all in like a week, and I'm sad because it's really expensive. But yeah, it it's, really I recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. I um. That's why I was like, that's why I was like shocked that you had it on this, just like from what I know, it's a really expensive like cereal brand. So it's four boxes that have like nothing inside and it's like 30 yeah. something dollars and it's so expensive it's mm -hmm. so insane yeah but it's so good i love the peanut butter one <laughs> it's so good uh okay I rec you, you guys should have some i recommend it if you like find it out i did like, find it at walmart that one time yeah, if you find it at, find it at walmart yeah, I mean, you should buy it because it's probably cheaper than ordering it online. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> no. Uh, my next uh, grid is my is my favorite manga that I read last year. It is Don to Don, and oh, oh my god, you got, uh, it's like a fever dream. I you can't describe it other than it's a fever dream, and I I, I really can't. can't. <laughs> can't Sorry, guys yeah. It's okay. I mean, I don't know. You can you probably like tell it better than I can because no, I a... really can't. <laughs> it's there's free. Part... I know it's <laughs> yeah. There's a part where like he fights like aliens. He fought like the Loch Ness monster at one point. Like his balls disappeared at a certain his point. Balls it's disappeared. Just... Yeah, like there's so <clears throat> much that happens. It's, it's so by good. one of the it's by like one of the it's like by like one of the art like one of the artists from um it's chainsaw man. man right yeah, yeah. so like you know it's gonna are, be like yeah fights are so good like you can follow along with, the, with what they're doing and like the mm -hmm. art is insane like the, I, the, there's an anime coming next year I think, or this year and I don't think, think it's going to do so? it justice. I... You don't think it's going to do it justice? I don't think it's going to do it justice. It'd be really like the... hard to do it justice, though. Yeah. There's so much. Ugh, the art is just beautiful. And, like, uh, you know, anime sometimes butcher it. Yeah. And well, we'll like, see. The... We'll find out. They might, they might pull a JoJo. And they might, you know, somehow make it work. I don't know. Possibly. I mean, it. Uh, from the trailer, it looks very, um, there's like no shading, so uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm excited, so yeah. CC only watches anime, she doesn't read when I ask her to read manga, so like, nah, I'm more of a visual person. You need to see it person. than, than, oh. than look at a manga. And yeah, read that's things. me. I don't read that much, that much manga, anyways. But yeah. it's, well, this one's so worth it, though, it's so funny. It's yeah. so quirky and like, we'll see if you, it comes in like anime. This is, this is probably like the only manga that I think Riley would really like, to be honest. Possible. 
Yeah. Like, if you're ever interested in reading re- uh, manga, really, this one, there is very, like, mm. it's not dialogue heavy. Like, it, a lot of the antics are kind of like JoJo a little bit, where it is batshit insane, but um, it's really fun. And the fight scenes are like Mob Psycho. Yeah, it's literally Mob Psycho. But yeah, it's it, Mob Psycho, but crazier. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's also an anime coming out, so you could probably just check that out first. Yeah, and the so. grandma is hot. The <laughs> did not just say that. No, okay, I, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if we need to tell him that. Is that so. like, what that, is that making you want to read more, Riley, or not want to read more? <laughs> not want to read? Uh, well, I'm definitely don't... a little more interested now. <laughs> Do you want me to send you a picture, believe... Riley? I can send you, I can give you a picture. Don't believe what he says. He's intrigued you now. Him. The grandma... Oh, I'm watching the an... I'm watching the trailer right now. I haven't seen it before. It actually looks good. It looks, <laughs> oh, okay. it's a, it looks pretty good. I think that, like, the no shading thing is just, like, a, a what they're going for, so. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't... I mean, I'm just excited to see it, really. Yeah. Yeah, don't believe what he says about the grandma. The grandma. Riley. Don't believe it. Don't believe Hannah, I think he's right? starting to believe it, Hannah. Even I'm DMing you a picture, so like you should believe me. Oh no. Don't believe it. It's oh, a no. lie. It's that's not what she really <laughs> Okay. Is that what she looks Damn! <laughs> oh my god! That's not, that's not her <laughs> real form. Don't. She has it. another form. form? I, don't, I don't know. I only know this one. What? What are you? Whoa, talking Hannah! About? <laughs> what form? Uh, Why she got the Cindy Lou Who haircut? <laughs> <laughs> don't believe him. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's, it's a lie. Not, it's not a lie, Riley. It's it's she's she's hot. Oh my gosh. Uh, she got the power of Nessie on her bat. That's crazy. I don't I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, dude the the because there's no there's no official translation, so like a lot of fans translate and the translations are insane. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the fan translations are insane. Oh gosh. Uh, and like the the artist is insane too, because he he like uh the manga comes out weekly and there's so much detail in each each page and each image Ow. basically read the manga it's really good yeah the art in the manga is really good i will say that yeah like it, it starts off slow and then it picks up and then you're hooked and then and then you just can't drop it well excuse me you can't drop it All right, my next one, I didn't change because I forgot and I'm lazy, but my next one was going to be J, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, but I wanted to change it to Black Clover because I read that, like, I, I read that last year and I all cut up and I really enjoyed it. You enjoyed it more than JJK? Yes. Wow. I cannot say add anything to that. I mean, I, I, I can't watch Black Clover. So, is it because all the screaming? No, it's because like the vibes of it remind me too much of fairy tale, and I stay away from anything that reminds me of fairy tale for oh, reasons. I've never, so. I've never seen fairy tale, so I. I mean, it's, I like it. Yeah, you should still watch it though. Black Clover. No, oh, fairy no tale. fairy tale. I heard Black Clover is good too. I I think my mm. friend was the one that yeah, she... said that the anime never finished, so you gotta read the manga. It's I don't know. I I know it's not finished, but like they're... like they never mm-hmm. finished it. Like made a season two, but the manga. Oh, I mean, they, they, they they made a movie. Made Here's... a couple seasons of Black Clover. Oh no! I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of. Black Lagoon. Oh, I don't know oh yeah, yeah. They never, th- yeah, they never made a season two of Black Lagoon. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Black an Lagoon. actual crime. <laughs> yeah, that, my friend loves Black Lagoon, and he, 
Yeah. He told me how he had to watch, uh, re- read the manga to finish yeah. it. Yeah. And the manga, it's it's one of those things where it's not as good as the anime. Okay, we gotta go back to Black Clover. We gotta go. We were okay. Going <laughs> okay. I mean, mangas are just more you know superior than the to the to the anime. I mean, there's it depends. Stuff, but... Yeah, there's some except. Like, I feel like I feel not, like not Psycho all anime is better. Than yeah, the not manga. not all okay. the manga is well, yeah. better than the anime. I heard uh, they didn't people didn't like the Attack on Titan manga until recently ending. Oh, I never so, read I it. Me neither. Like, yeah, I mean, like it's a <clears throat> so it's just you know I think I feel like like once the anime happened they just got over it. So it's just like, yeah, there's no changing it. Like, we got what we got, so. Yeah, but like, you should read the, the Black Clover manga, Hannah. CC wants me to, is like, forcing me to, I, I have to watch the Black Clover manga. What are you talking oh, about? Finish it, Eden. Did you say Black Butler or Black Clover? Black you Clover. said Black Butler. Oh, I said Black what? Clover. You s- no, Eden oh, said, said Black Butler. Butler. Oh, I, meant to I meant to say Clover, my bad. <laughs> too too many animes that like, start with black. I know. I have read the I have read Black Butler. Like what are you talking about right hey, now? Well you should you should read and catch up with Black Clover because it's really good. And you should I think she okay, has different black opinions Clover. on it. Eden? Okay, only I if you don't watch Fairy Tale. What? No, he should watch Whoa. Fairy Tale. No, he shouldn't. No, just because your oh, opinion God. is is <laughs> like that doesn't mean that he shouldn't watch it. You're making it sound like it's the worst anime ever. He's gotta make his own. There's there's worse anime than Fairy Tale. Listen, it's me. I have finished from beginning to end. I I have seen things. I have been to places that you can never imagine. Oh my god, you're exaggerating. I've been a part of I've been a part of the worst side you're of the fandom. I've seen being dramatic. the worst things of the fandom. You're being don't, really dramatic don't, right now. Don't trust that these people they're they're mind they're being mind controlled, okay? They're part of this brave length of like fairy tale fans. Don't believe it. I escaped. I escaped. You're being really dramatic. Truth. You I know the truth. Yeah. What? Were you a shipper and that's why you didn't like it? What is that silence? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Is that why? No. I, am, I listen. <clears throat> no. No. I don't then like what is it, it because. So, okay, the way that I view fairy tale to me is I view it like a disappointing child where no you, you love no. them, listen to me, let where you love them and you want them to succeed in life. You want them to just do the best they can in school. You see all their peers, you see all their siblings and everything, and they're doing the best they can. They're ace they're listening, they're doing the great fairy tale however keeps fucking around and like flunking all like missing all of his tests basically because he's too busy chit-chatting with his friends and believing like oh friendship is magic like we can do anything because we're best friends no you can't go to class you miss several exams and you're flunking do you see all your siblings and like how far they've gone, how far their stories have progressed, but you're back here sticking with the same friends and refusing to let them move on with their lives and let them maybe die. You keep bringing them back and not letting them kill themselves off and like advancing their stories. No, you keep flunking and you keep like believing that friendship is magic. It is not magic, okay? Grow up. Go to class. Well, you should watch My Little and Pony. And that's how I fairy tale. Yeah, watch Go Watch My Little Pony then if you don't like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fairy tale is the My Little Pony of anime. That is the best way to describe it. Wow. 
and there mm-hmm. it is absolutely it, it also has absolutely nothing to do with the, the ships Abs- absolutely nothing oh, you're so quiet I see you have Loki next on your list. <laughs> Why are you dodging the question? <laughs> okay, well, the next grade is Loki, the season two. Um, I enjoyed it. I, it's like, like Hannah has, according to the Galaxy, I think Loki like, the best thing that came out of the MCU lately. Until, hopefully, uh, Deadpool 3, uh, you know. Yeah, thing. yeah. I've been on a downward trend of right and recently on Marvel. Like I don't wanna watch Echo. I really don't wanna watch Echo. I uh, I'm so upset that it's tying itself into like the dead the the Daredevil universe. Yeah. So now, like, now I feel Daredevil. I have to, but I know. A Daredevil's coming up soon and I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Uh, I think the Netflix Daredevil is a is, uh, canon now, so we have to watch that. That's fun. Yeah. But, uh, it's yeah, not Loki. canon, or it is canon? It is canon. Okay, yeah. that I've already seen it, so I don't have to watch it again. So. <clears throat> I haven't supposed to watch it. Um, anyway, uh, good. Loki. You should watch good, it. Good, se- good season, good ending, good, good, um, good send-off of the character. I was good with Loki. I loved it. Yeah, I agree. Good yeah, for, it was it was good. <clears throat> kind of sad, uh, you know. We want to probably see his Loki anyway, but you know, besides what if, what if it's also good, but not as good as Loki. Uh, and then my final grade is uh, is is uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. This, this was my power world of last year. Yeah, uh, I was addicted for a few weeks and and yeah 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 i'm I'm surprised that we got into it this year or last year so because it's been out for yeah it's been out for a good couple of years so but i get it i get the addiction this is this is also one of like this is one of my favorite like like modern like you know like recent year games like I, I love this game as well. So, it is addicting. It is What's your addicting. favorite character? Yeah. Who's your favorite like house? Not. Well, I only had I've only done one house because <sighs> reasons. That's uh, why I said character. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. You did Aelgard's house first. Yeah, I did the Aelgard's house, you and then I'm doing her other. I mean, I'm doing her other route right now. <laughs> Uh, what do you what do you mean, huh? Well, what what house you did you do? I know, I know why you chose Edelgard. I know why? you. I know why. Are I, I know you. Like, because it's fucking Edelgard. Okay, but you know the my fuck? favorite character. I know, like, the, is she your favorite character? No, it's it's, it's Bernie or Nadetta. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was gonna be her. Okay, well, you, you look like you like Sylvain, Sylvain so... Don't! <laughs> is that true, you, though? You gave that to me, and it was just like, no, <laughs> Sylvain is, like, I like, I don't like my fa- but he's not my fa- You don't like when guys hit girls? Hit on, hit on Like, girls. like, I was gonna <laughs> yeah, say, yeah, like, that's physically, that's or, that's like... No, 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 I meant, you, like, you know, like, yeah, flirty. But, yeah, but you you said it you said it the wrong context for say yeah. hit on. Well, I know what I meant. So. Okay, but the others That's don't you know. Guys were thinking wrong. No, everyone thinking would wrong. think that you meant physically hitting girls. Nah, when I say hitting, it's it's a other no, term even, of like you know checking out. Even on if girls. you're talking to a random person, they would think that. You well, you're thinking that they, they're that's physically. immediately like what I thought. Like when you <laughs> said that, I was just like, "Wait, Sylvain's never hit anyone. What are you talking about?" Well, you guys took that out of context. <laughs> you said out of context. Um. Okay, okay, but no, I like, I like a good flirt, but Sylvain is not my favorite character from the game. Listen, he's just like. Like a lesser version of a Starian. 
Like that's the best way I could describe him. Okay, so he's like. He's, oh, who? It's like is a it? masochist. I'm not telling you. No, the sadist. You like the sadist <laughs> characters. You like you like characters that inflict pain or just like seeing others <laughs> getting hurt. <laughs> Like, yeah, there's really no characters like that in Fire Emblem. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm not telling look, you who my favorite character is, Eden. You look like you would, you no? like, like you, I think you like Casper. I feel you like Casper. Casper, yeah. You like, you like someone who, that's a top? Who the, who the fuck is Casper again? The, the blue guy? The blue hair guy? No, so I don't he, like him. He's like, he reminds me of Miles. Bruh. No, it's uh, not think, Casper. Think, think back on Hannah's uh, weird crush list. Um, I Fucking don't man. think I want to mention it based off her presentation <laughs> that one time. Yeah, we don't need to think talk about <laughs> real. No, we're not talking about we'll bring up the lion. What? We're not talking about that. Alright, um, yeah, that's that's it. I've just been playing yep. Fire Emblem. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, who knows what'll, what'll be on my grid next year? Oh, I, I can <laughs> I can guess which game. I can guess which game, yeah. I mean, yeah. Unless there's, yeah. like, a better game that comes out. You know, yeah. Baldur's Gate, maybe. A Silk Song. We're so, 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 so song coming out. I'm waiting for years. I'm waiting for my dragon. I'm waiting for my Dragon Quest and my Dragon Age to come out. I'm waiting. I don't know what I'm waiting for right now. <laughs> I kind of have it. The Baldur's Gate and. Oh, I'm waiting for the um, um, in the PlayStation like. Um, direct that happened like yesterday they announced that the team behind the Bioshock games is creating a new game yeah they're they're making a new IP and it looks looks just like Bioshock and I'm so excited I love Bioshock so yeah it's like called Judas or something and Uh. it looks really good so. They're also remaking Silent Hill 2, which I'm excited about. And they, uh, they're, Days Gone. They're remaking yeah. Until Dawn. <laughs> Until Dawn, For yeah. some reason. I know it's because of the movie coming out soon, but I'm I'm excited to play Until Dawn. Until, as by far, like, one of my favorite um, yeah. games, like, from the PS4 era, so. Yeah, and Dragon's I never played Dogma, Silent Hill. That one, so. Silent Hill? Oh yeah, I have a dog on my Yeah, I haven't played Silent Hill, so I'm excited to play it. Yeah, I'm excited. The, um, the, like, short, um, Silent Hill game, as well, the one that looks like PT, that one also yeah. looks really good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, that one's free to play now. Oh. Yeah, there's a no, lot of... No, but, like, I have no, I have no internet, so, like, that can happen later. Oh, I know. Very sorry. I mean, it's like, how are you talking about uh, us now then? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, there's a, are you excited for any for anything to come out this this year, uh, Riley? This or Abby. year, um, or Abby or Cece? Currently, I don't have anything on my radar. There's just a lot of hopes of things to come out. Hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. Oh, it's such... it, I'm sorry. I don't think you're gonna get an Elden Elden Ring set. Not Elden Ring, but Elder Scrolls Sky- six. Skyrim. <laughs> well, I know. You're gonna get another um, port of Skyrim, probably. I'm gonna be like 30 when Elder Scrolls six comes out. I swear to God. <laughs> you're gonna be on your deathbed and then you get trailer drops. What the fuck? <laughs> the moment. The moment that you flatline the announce Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Keep your life for a little bit longer. Don't worry, we'll put it we'll put Wait. it in your coffin. 
Okay, you put it in your coffin. Get to sure. <laughs> I can't believe. Is it, I mean, it's like I cannot believe Elder Scrolls Six is gonna be coming out later than GTA Six. That's crazy to me. I, that's that's <laughs> one game yeah. I I want to play. I never play any the GTA games. GTA. So. I completely yeah, forgot cool. about GTA. No. Yeah. It, it's your. It's in your. It's it's near where you live. So. Oh, no, it is. I mean, it, it is in the it area. Is it's, it's Miami. Oh, it's the oh. whole Miami. I know, but I just. I didn't. I didn't want to say. I didn't want to say where you live. So. Yeah. But... I, I, uh, we well, can, we can, I we mean. Can... I mean it. Well, yeah. Did I mean? I think it's said there's in the trailer. There's a lot of people in Miami. We have. They don't know. Yeah. You no. It, it's based there. in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. And there's. There's alligators, and then there, there's the tattoo guy. Like, it's based in Florida, absolutely. So, <laughs> all alligators and tattooed guys are from Florida. Also, uh, note that I I'm the only one to put food in my list. I'm special. Food. I'm unique. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, your oh, cereal. Okay. okay. Um. Okay. You know. Well, I mean, Abby put like you know. Eating like you know, and everything in her list, and no one else did that. What did Abby put on her? She put like meeting with her family again and oh, friends. Yeah. yeah, family and friends. She put like real life events. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Also, I find myself unique because I put a live action show on here, like r with real people and everything, so I'm unique. <laughs> are you just, are you well, just I'm, I'm unique. Well, DC, because she put a mobile game. She, mobile put, a, game she put a drawing too. No, 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 no. The drawing game. The drawing, the drawing game. She put the, it's the drawing yeah, she put game. The, the drawing. Excuse me, that's a game. Yeah, it's still a yeah, game. The, the, I have the a drawing bunch of games and videos. A, a drawing and, was my yeah. uniqueness. And, and then Riley yeah, put the drawing was the, the D and D. Told it up. Yeah, he put the D and D and the card in there. So we're all unique. I'm unique because I put. I'm double unique because I put a manga in there. Two mangas actually. You also <laughs> put in, like... We're the only one to put in. Oh my God. Honestly, I thought okay, you were gonna put boba. Do it too, because that's what you tried uh, I should, last I year. Put I should have put Boba. You're right. Oh my god, Boba. <laughs> oh, and Korean corn dog. Oh my I god, mean... you're so right. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I mean, you know what? Uh, take out the meme. I'm putting in Boba and Korean hot <laughs> Oh my god. Dogs. You gotta edit it so I can put it in. Um, no, it's fine. Just keep... Well, what about the one where you say you? You're gonna Black put Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh. I actually you gotta, have to you gotta, give you gotta fix that. So, yeah, you gotta give. Oh yeah, give me the image and then I'll paste it. Yeah. All right. She'll just paste it like you know, cockeyed, so it, it looks like it's actually just like <laughs> blacked onto there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Well, I Did say we, we should wrap this up. Yeah. And it was a good, um, like hearing from everyone what their, you know, favorite things were from 2023. And maybe we'll do another one for 2024. And until then, if you liked the podcast, feel free to leave a like, maybe comment what your favorite part was from it. And maybe even consider subscribing. Until then. Bye. Bye. Bye.